Okay, we're here with Adam Zampa from the Sydney Thunder. Now, Zamps, this is a pretty impressive facility they've built. Yeah, definitely. It's a credit to ANZ to, uh, to be able to look after the cricket players. Um, it's quite disappointing this year that we had to play at, at, uh, train out at Blacktown and the uh, facilities were, weren't as uh, good as what they're going to be here by the looks of things. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a great facility. It's been fantastic here today. We've had a load of sports. You've been, uh, you've been doing some coaching with the kids. It's a, it's a great position being so close next to the stadium. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's going to help the players immensely next year and it was great to see the kids out here having fun as well. You came into the Thunder ranks this year. You had a, an impressive season. A lot of judges said that you bowl really well. Uh, in the KFC Big Bash, so must be very encouraging to come in and play well straight away. Yeah, exactly. It was great to get the opportunity. So, uh, so suddenly, I guess I didn't even have a contract a week before the Big Bash, and then to to uh, get the, the opportunity to play five or six games and uh, yeah, take my opportunity. I guess was a great experience. It must be nice, you, you know, the big unit, Garinda, uh, Sean Abbott, and, and those sort of guys having those young guys from New South Wales around you know, must make it a little bit easier. Yeah, it was great, and hopefully the same kind of young group stays together this year as well. Was, um, we're only going to get better with age, and hopefully this year we can uh, win a couple of games and uh, keep our fans happy. Your own form in general is pretty good. You know, a few big judges were saying that uh, you're one of the best young leggies in the country. Uh, how does that make you feel? Uh, yeah, it's quite exciting to get some accolades from some some high high up people, I guess. And uh, at the moment, it's just about the next game. Uh, Obviously got a big season, pre-season ahead and hopefully get a little bit bigger, a bit, bit a little bit stronger and my leggy improves and hopefully next year I'll get a few more wickets. And what are your plans for the off-season, the next few months, what, uh, what's Adam Zampa going to do? Uh, I'm actually going up to the academy, um, so yeah, it'll be a great opportunity to train and work on a few technical things and then I'm actually going over to uh, Sri Lanka for five or six weeks to uh, play some games, so yeah, that's quite exciting. Okay, we're here today with the Grinder Sandu. Now, uh, big fella, you've had an enormous year. Must be very proud of what you've done. Yeah, very, very happy and very excited to sort of finish the season the way I did. And um, especially the way the Blues did as well, you know. Finishing sort of our last three or four games very strong, getting a couple of outright wins and then disappointing to miss out the Shield final by one point. Going back to the Big Bash, uh, you made uh, your debut for the Sydney Thunder this year. A lot of star players around, Chris Gale, that sort of thing. What was the feeling, the excitement of, of playing in front of those big crowds? I was pumped up. I think my first game was a pretty big crowd, actually. So, um, yeah, I was pretty excited to get out there and do what I could down at SCG. And um, playing with the likes of, like I said, Chris Gale. I think we had Martin Guptill that game as well. So I was just trying to learn what I could off those blokes. You, you don't look it. I mean, you're the sort of bloke who's, who's nervous at all, you know, when you're playing those big games. You look pretty comfortable in, in front of the big crowds. Yeah, I'll try to just, just chill out and um, try not to let it get to me and I think if you do that then that's, that's when you play your best. So I want to try and play my best every game so in order to do that I have to sort of keep calm. And how do you find actually bowling in, in 2020 cricket? You know, a lot of people talk about the need for a lot of variation and you know, the difficulty in, in containing a batsman at the start and the end of the innings. How do you go about it? Um, well, I'm actually yeah, pretty, pretty what you said there with the variations. I like to use my variations and sort of set simple plans that I know I can execute. That way it's, it's pretty hard to fail, fail with your plan. It must be, uh, must be great seeing this facility. It's, it's right next to the ground. It, it's pretty much got everything in terms of being able to train. I think it'll be a big boost for the Thunder, won't it? Exactly, exactly right. You know, last year we didn't do too much fielding for the new boys out under the lights here. It's pretty tough under the lights. So I think once we come, season starts again, hopefully everyone's here again. We can get out here, do our nets, batting, bowling in the nets, and then go out there, have a field under the lights, you know, just from five metres from where we are standing right now. And onwards and upwards for the Thunder next year. They've, uh, they've potentially, you know, got a basis of a good squad with some very good young players. So high hopes of uh, plenty of victories next year. Yeah, hopefully we can get, you know, three, four victories, even five if possible, you know, get into the semis, go from there. If we have a few more big guns, hopefully they can, they can go well for us and then supported by, as you said, the younger blokes and um, yeah, make a, make a mark on this uh, competition.